where I can find what I wanted. I worked very hard, very hard, very hard. And then at last I was disappointed. Perhaps there might be some time that people would have found the source of life on which they could find to be lived upon. But now it is not available. What I have done, I could try. There is no further in my life any energy to continue further. And if I could not find up to now, now it is no, not possible. At this stage of my disappointment, there was some arrangement that I was told about my master. I had already heard about him some time back, but I was not having any craving or some kind of attraction. But when this state of my mind was reaching, then there was something like that. And there were some agencies also which also came up that I was attracted to that side. So there was something hard in me. And I went to the city of um, uh, Golden Temple, which is called Amritsar, where Master was there. And that uh, I listened to his talks. He stayed over there for about four days. And I had also some private interviews even with him. And uh, I was little, little by little, little by little, feeling like that there is something here. And what I had got very bitter or bad experience at other places that I went over there that they had really big name and fame and very, very big, big, magnificent appearances, arrangements. But there was really, inside there was nothing. It was all outside show only and advertisements and so many, so many things, show and show. Inside it was all empty. But I was not to be dissuaded by some such like kind of outside shows. I was a searcher of reality. And then I could feel that there is something. But till after spending four days over there, I was not yet deciding myself. However, Master went to the other place and I went to my work the next day. And when I was going on the work, I was not feeling at the work, I was feeling something pushing, pulling me, pulling me, pulling me. That is what Master say that the worldly people rule other people with rod. They control, they rule with power. But martyrs have also their own ruling system. God has also his own ruling system that he captures the hearts of the people. And what is the way that captures the heart with love? And that love is silent love. It is not that they say something or the act to or pose something physically. No, it's not like that. It is something underground. It goes on working very silently, very silently, peacefully, and nobody can know what is happening. And what has, when something has happened, then one finds that I'm caught up now. Now I am helpless. And that I am bound with this wonderful, wonderful chain, which is my life, in which I am, no doubt, my mind is bound, my body is bound, my intellect is bound, but my soul has been lead. I have been lead. And that I am now not to suffer in this ocean of darkness and of ignorance and of hell-like systems and struggling, struggling, struggling only. This struggle and struggle and struggle will now end. 
and now I will find some relaxation somewhere. And that I have found that place where I am now free to relax and to enjoy. And now I will remain over there and nobody there, no sources there who will take me out of it. And I also will not wish to go out of it. And what I am to know, I have known what I have to find, I have found. And that thing was now working upon me also. <coughs> I was not feeling at work. <coughs> and that uh, I was uh, at work then I feeling like going back. When I was traveling little steps back, then I was having some uh, uh, play of the mind even. But why are you going away from here? And that this man to whom he has heard is there, you can get initiated later on. And you are now a president of so many organizations which are working anti-physical masters. And what uh, is your position over there? What will happen to that position? Why do you know that? You are not to um, do that. I was again back. Two, three times I was back and forth. Sometimes the master power was conqueror, and other times the mental power, mind power was a conqueror, and was I uh, roaming about then and there, up, back and forth, in this confusion. At last, the master power was really conqueror, and I was really running. And then I reached the bus stand, and I found the bus, and went back, and left my applications for leave, for about one or two days or three days, uh, to be handed over to the office where I was working. And that uh, I started uh, to go where master is, but I didn't know. I would, did only know that he has gone to a city. No, no, no address was there. And you know, in a city, it's not possible to find someone without address. So I went to the place where the master had, I had seen him in Amritsar. Those people who were there are in charge of that center, they handed me that a letter which was there, invitation letter from that other center where master had gone, and that address was there written upon it. I just got the bus for that city. It was about uh, 40 miles away from that place. I reached there at about seven, and Master had started his satsang at that place, and there was a man, uh, I was feeling like sitting on the back, but there was a man who took me in front, and I was sitting in front of the Master and was feeling like, really, uh, uh, eye to eye, face to face, in front of him, and that I stayed there for about two days and I had asked over there even a private talk with him. And at last I had decided, okay, I should get this initiation. It may work, it may work. <laughs> Said it was not 100% that it will work. I'm satisfied it may work. There's some hope. Because that part which was against it was also very powerfully, very uh, horribly working upon. And I got initiated. That was the holy day of 25th of November 1965 that I was initiated. That was my really day of life. That I got my life and I started living. What is called life came out of this grave, living grave, some kind of grave which you cannot see a grave, which you cannot say some kind of dead material, but it has its own charm and attraction to keep ourselves really in some kind of a fantasy, false one, in which we are only eluded and deluded 
me. Feel that I have found by everything, 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 I have found nothing really. That is a very, very hard, treacherous game. And that I could find myself in something which was real. And it is, that is end all and be all of everything. I am the Alpha, I am the Omega. What is meant by it? Uh, and what we were reading about, it was there available. And first I was little uh, feeling that what I have seen, it is nothing, it is not really. Then when uh, my master asked, those who are not satisfied, they have not found um, uh, anything in them, they should stand up, I stood up. <laughs> <laughs> And then Mother asked me, uh, what could you find this way, that way? I told, I saw this way, this way and that way also. You are not satisfied? <laughs> <laughs> no, I am not satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> then he took me with some other two, three persons uh, inside, and we were made to sit for, on meditation for some time. <laughs> then he asked me what we have found. Then I was satisfied. I will not tell you. <laughs> because it is not allowed that any initiate is to tell inner experiences to anybody else. So let it be secret, but I was really satisfied that what I have found, it is something really wonderful. What I expected. And then uh, I was on the sound meditation. It was really something very great, very wonderful, very wonderful. And I was beside myself with joy that if I had conquered whole of the world, whole of the creation of Lord God, and then I should be happy, I should feel like myself, how much happy, how much enjoyful, that eh, can be the, some idea that what I could find. And after that still I came to my home back and did not tell anybody that I am initiated. Because it was that hard step. When I was connected to some kind of big agencies and was leader of those agencies and was preaching against the physical masters, now if I tell them that I have got, they will kill me. <laughs> they was such like, it could, it's that it could have happened even. But I did, did tell, the, tell my wife that I have been initiated, but you will not tell anybody. Not for the purpose that I was afraid of such like uh, hard consequences from outside, but I was feeling myself still not satisfied. And I told my wife that I have been initiated, but I am to verify that he might have hypnotized me. Uh, and that what things have been shown to me, told to me, uh, those may not be true. Those might be only for, from some uh, little lower level of uh, mental powers. Because mental powers have also very, very, very wonderful, great things with them. And that I may not have been mesmerized by him. And then uh, I met it for about uh, four months, something like that. Already I had got uh, general, uh, my schedule that I used to get up at about uh, maybe two or three early in the morning and were taking a bath. And after that, at about four, uh, there were some services and performances in the Holy Temple of Sikh Sikhism. I used to go there. And some celestial music was going on over there. Uh, from that Holy Scripture, Adi Granth, from 4 to 7. I used to return to that, and after 7, I used to come back home and was taking my breakfast, and then was uh, going on my duty in, uh, in, uh, as civil engineer in government, and then was going on all, all the day long over there. I was coming back, and in the evening, after taking food, then some people were there. 
वे आर कमिंग टू मी एंड वी वेयर हैव अबाउट फाइव और सेवन पर्सन टू हैव सम म्यूजिक वॉट इज कॉल्ड सिलेक्शन म्यूजिक एंड वाई टीचिंग टू दैम एंड वॉज आसो टीच दैम दी आदि ग्रंथ वट इज मीनिंग ऑफ इट एंड दैट दी मे गो थ्रू दी मीनिंग ऑफ इट रियल नॉट ओनली रिलेटिंग एंड टू थ्री टू आवर्स दिस वॉज क्लास गोइंग ऑन एंड दैन आई वॉज जस्ट गोइंग टू माई बेड और डूइंग सम अदर वर्क विच वॉज देयर दिस वॉज माई जनरल रूटीन जस्ट ऑन एज ए जनरल फ्राम दैट डे ऑफ इनिशिएशन आई हैड लिटल चेंज इन इट दैट आई वॉज कैटिंग वॉप एट द सेम टाइम एंड गोइंग टू द टेम्पल एंड अटेंडिंग ओवर दे आर फॉर अबाउट फिफ्टीन मिनट्स और ट्वेंटी मिनट्स आफ्टर दैट आई वॉज कमिंग बैक टू माई होम एंड बाई मेडिटेटिंग अबाउट थ्री आवर्स डेली माई मास्टर हैड टोल्ड मी दैट आई शुड मेडिटेट फॉर एट लीस्ट टू एंड हाफ आवर्स बट एट लीस्ट टू एंड हाफ आवर्स नॉट एनी लिमिट फर्दर एंड आई वॉज फीलिंग दैट मेडिटेट एट लीस्ट थ्री आवर्स बट मास्टर हैड टोल्ड दैट इज मस्ट But something more should be there that master may be happy with me that I have done something more than he asked for. And then I was finding some things uh, inside, and after about four months or six months, I was really having full confirmation that what I have found it is there. It is my permanent acquisition. There is nothing. It is some kind of illusion or delusion. at high levels of um, mesmerism or hypnotism it is something much beyond much beyond that and when i was really confident about it then i declared it although there was so much little uh, confusion in the hearts of the people but no one did ask me directly no one did come to me no one did dare for that that what we had done they were respecting me in the same way but some people of my company when they were going outside then people were asking what has happened to your leader what happened what it is a great loss we had that he had done to us and we had found such a person wonderful person uh, of our company of our organization that it may work it was really as much by him now we are losing this For that purpose, he was really much more shocked. But uh, everything was going on, and uh, sometimes something was also started in that city, city. And so many people who were against me also, just uh, not really, but in their own hearts. And that they also came, and they were also initiated. And in this way, uh, the things uh, were uh, starting. And I had. Uh, some talks with the master and he was really uh, working in some very very normal way he was never saying that i am something and i should be given some very high position and you should sit somewhere low or this in this way or that way first time when i uh, went uh, to see him in privacy it was not really privacy but it was some Uh, other people who were also sitting in that privacy about five or six seven persons in some personal mood not in an uh, 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 spiritual mood but in some private mood i was also allowed to go there by some agency <coughs> and when i went over there then some that person who took me introduced me to the master that he is a seeker and he is a Uh, what he uh, he told me like that, and, uh, and then master just extended his hand to shake hand with me, uh, just like uh, as we uh, uh, have a friend, and we in love or in, in customary, we have some kind of uh, 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 such uh, actions, uh, and uh, I uh, was knowing I was uh, no doubt initiated as yet. but i was knowing that what is the greatness or uh, glory of a uh, god man and what kind of respect we should have for that 
So I did not feel that I should shake him, hand with him regularly. But I took his hand in my both, both hands and felt like respecting him. And I could find he has big hands. <laughs> <laughs> quite strong. <laughs> he had quite strong body and outer body was not so much weak. How much we were strong from inside, that was well known, that was not something secret. But his body was also quite strong and I was impressed by his uh, big hands. And that, then he told the people, uh, big chair for him. I regret, my dear, I am accustomed to sit on the ground and not so much accustomed to sit on the chairs. I can. Till somebody was being in a chair, I was already on the ground and master was talking to me and some other people like that. At other, other times also I had, I had uh, some meetings before my initiation. And I was telling my uh, experiences or my heart to him. And then he was listening very, very patient and then in the beginning, of the talk, he was telling, you can say me in any hard words, in any harshness, any way you like to talk to me, you are free to talk. I was uh, not expecting that, uh, and that this something can like this. But uh, he had offered like that, that any hard language you can use for me, you have no difficulty. I will not accept it in any way. This was something really special in his heart that he was stable in any kind of situation from outside. He was stable in any kind of angry person or very much hard person. He was not moved from his stability. And that he told me that you are free to talk in this way, in any way you like. And that, I talked with him a long time, and a person came, that other party is also waiting for uh, your conversation, and please end this. Then I must fall into heart upon him. We are talking heart to heart. Tell <laughs> uh, 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 the other person to wait or go away. Uh, then I could not understand what is heart to heart. <laughs> because I have never heard such like conversation that there had been some heart to heart. But later on, after initiation, then I could find what is heart to heart conversation. That outer conversation is only just a, a verbal, having some language. But there is also a language of heart. And he who has heart can awaken the heart of the other one and can begin to talk heart to heart. Uh, you cannot talk to a cow, you cannot talk to a uh, horse, because that not of your level, not of your standard of talking or thinking or working. In the same way, when masters talk to somebody, they do not talk to the body, mind or intellect. Because it's very low standard, very low grade, and they cannot understand what the master says. And if master says anything to the mind and that they will not understand. Never they will understand. And that uh, when master had to speak to somebody, he had to awaken the soul of the person. And when soul is awakened, then that is uh, the connection. That master feels that now I have found of my standard, which is from my, uh, I am the source and it is the drop of that. I am the ocean and it is to be now uh, uh, of my level and I can talk to him. And it can be persuaded, it can understand, that can work also. So this heart to heart talk is something very special and it is only when you find a person who has got heart, which heart? Goldy heart. Not this heart, which is made of flesh. 
this is something connected with the body. But uh, in spirituality, our heart is the soul over here. And uh, when we look to each other, when Master generally looks at the seat of the soul and begin to talk to him, he doesn't go down into the body. He speaks over there and finds everything over there. When he looks at the third eye center, he finds what kind of situation of the mind is there, and what kind of habits are there, what are the karmas, what is lifestyle. Everything is crystal clear. As you look through a mirror or, or a bottle made of glass, and what is there in it? It is available from outside, not hidden. In the same way, all those people who come to the Master, he can see the background of the people and the state of the heart of the people. And he has also then approached to the soul of that person. Because soul is encroaching still more enclosures, not only body, another is also their most uh, heart, that is mind. And intellect is also there. And some other more enclosures are also there. And soul is at the deepest farthest end of the, of the enclosures. And Master has to approach that soul because he is only concerned with the soul. And if he doesn't reach the soul, then only he is only beating on the doors or walls of the house. He cannot reach the friend. But his purpose is not to knock at the door or only beat the walls. He had to uh, go through the walls or go through the doors, whatever is there, in between, and penetrate through all these hindrances and problems, and reach the friend, uh, to find the friend. And that friend may be rid of all those uh, prisons, all those hard uh, enclosures, and is coming out of it, and are available to us, and that is available, we are available to him. And that is a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, then it starts. So it's not some easy job, but it's not work of the worldly people. It's work of a really person who has got the authority, and we need such like a person who has such like authority. I'm not go, going to the subject now, I'm just going on touching the side uh, views also because I am not only connected with the physical body of the Master, because physical body of the Master has also something very much wonderful. If you compare the life of, or physical body life of a Master to an ordinary person, it's very much vast difference. Uh, if you go really inside, then you find the great and great, great and great world of difference. And that horizons and horizons of difference are there. What we see over here, uh, that is his own body even. Or what we see him uh, up where he is, there's uh, no comparison to it. But still, as per uh, today, as we are better concerned with the physical existence of the Master. Otherwise, what I had been speaking, that was his inner self. I was not speaking anything be, except him, because when a disciple becomes one with Master, then he is a disciple. And one, what he will do, what his Master does. What he will say, what his Master says. And what he, his existence is there, what is the existence of the Master. And what is the body? It's the body of the Master. He is nothing. He has totally emerged in that great ocean of greatness and has lost his smallness and has um, appeared in that greatness. That is the life of the initiate. If the initiate has not...